today is Thursday, December 13th, and over the last weekend we had some temperatures that were really cold. It got down to below zero degrees, and so we did whatever we could to try to protect the food that we still had in the uh, veggie tunnel and in the gardens that we've got here also. So today we're going to take a look at and see how the carrots did. I haven't uncovered the carrots yet, and I'm going to explain some ways that we take to ensure that our carrots make it through the cold weather months so that way we can enjoy fresh garden carrots as long through the winter time as we can. Um, all the carrots are underneath here. We're going to try to uncover them and then I'll explain some different ways that you can take to protect carrots if you've got carrots grown in your garden too. Because honestly, after uh, going through a frost or something like that, carrots tend to concentrate their sugars and taste a lot better than they do in the summertime. So let's take a look and see how it all works. The only reason the pallets are on here is to hold down the, uh, the leaves to keep them from blowing away. You can see that, uh, well I don't know if you can see it or not, but underneath the leaves there's straw. We had put down a thick layer of straw and hay before the cold weather, but then when that cold weather was coming, um, you know, below freezing temperatures, below zero temperatures, I thought that we needed some more insulation, so we put the leaves down. And like I say, I'm not sure if this protected them or not. We're going to find out here in just a second. Well, you can see we got, uh, I actually picked several, but we've got some really nice ones that have made it through in the garden. And one of the ways that you can tell whether or not they're still good, number one, is is the ground frozen. And in this case, the ground wasn't frozen. It was cold, but um, there wasn't any frost in the ground or anything like that, so the carrots should be protected. And the other way is if you look carefully at the carrots, if they've been frozen, then they're going to have um, lines that run perpendicular to the length of the carrot, carrot going like this, real small, just like little tiny razor cuts. And that means the carrot's been frozen and then it's, it's thawed again, or maybe it's even still frozen. And frozen carrots taste terrible, but when you pick them right out of the garden like this, uh, here like in the middle of December, when there's been a frost every now and then, or some really cold weather, these taste great like this. So let's talk about some other ways that you can protect your carrots if you don't want to just leave them in the ground. So one thing that you can do is you can just dig a trench. Now I just dug a hole just to keep this brief so that you can see what we're doing. But you could just dig a trench, uh, dig a big line. I would make it at least a foot deep. This looks like it's probably about 10 inches deep at the bottom of it. You probably want to go deeper than that. And then just take your carrot. You want to take the greens off of them. Don't leave the greens on them. Just feed those to your goats or your chickens or your rabbits. Um, just take the greens off, toss them in the trench, and then when you're all done, you know, you get a nice big stack of them, then just go ahead and cover them back up. Now, I would not cover them with dirt. I would cover them with straws, hay, leaves, any organic matter that you can. Oh, there's another carrot. We'll give that to the goats. Here. Here. Just cover it up with the organic material because that's going to act as a better insulator 
then the dirt will. Then you can just take dirt and put dirt on top of it. That way it keeps the organic matter from blowing away. Of course, doing what we were doing in the garden is going to mean that you're going to have to go dig the carrots out of the ground one way or the other, whether they're in the trench or whether they're still in the spot where they grew. You've got to dig them up. So I guess an option, if you don't want to have to do that, you want to be able to just go get the carrots, is you could have a root cellar. So you can see that we got a nice collection of uh, carrots here in the middle of December, fresh out of the garden. Um, this is just a small portion of what we still got in the ground, but uh, these are going to service us well for the next, I don't know, next couple days. And one for the goats. So we planted a, probably a few thousand carrots, and so you might be wondering, well, what in the world would you do with all of those carrots? We grew cabbage too, so on the next post what we'll do is we'll explain to you what you can do with uh, all the cabbage, carrots, and onions.